the McMurtry's Spearling Pure Fan Car has made quite a statement in the world of high-performance track machines. With its remarkable specifications, innovative fan-operated downforce technology and impressive track records, it has garnered the attention and admiration from enthusiasts and wealthy track day racers. Now I have actually previously made a whole video on this car, after it set a new record at Goodwood. And remember, Goodwood is a hill climb event where anything can go. From actual Formula 1 cars to hypercars, LMP races, the list goes on and on. And against a field of dedicated races, the Spearling is at the top. So how fast is the Spearling? While well, it devoured Lord's March driveway in a blistering 39.08 seconds. But back then, the car was more a prototype with plans to maybe build a production version. You see, the British startup has announced a production version of this pocket-sized hypercar prototype, and apparently, it will be even speedier. Now, for those interested, you can get your very own Spearling fan car for a hefty £820,000, or just over a million dollars, plus taxes. And if you have the cash, you'll need to move quickly, as it will be limited to just 100 units. Now, if you have a cool mill lying around, and you do manage to get one of the 100, you won't be able to drive it to the golf club or do whatever rich people do, as this car is a track-only toy designed for the ultimate driving experience. This car is also eligible for the GT1 Sports Club, providing access to driving programs during the SRO GT World Challenge race weekends around the globe. I wonder if this car will pose the same issues that the Chaparral fan car did which was a menace on track because the fan would suck up the breeze from the road and throw it back at the cars behind it. But that fan in this car does really help. You see, despite its small stature measuring only 3.45 meters in length and 1.58 meters in width, the Spearling Pure, with its fan-operated on-demand downforce technology coupled with the wider tires, enables the single-seat electric vehicle to generate over 3 Gs of cornering grip. While this may be half of what Formula 1 drivers experience, it will still put tremendous strain on the driver's neck muscles during high-speed maneuvers. Now this car is pretty lightweight for an electric car, weighing just around 1000 kilograms. Especially when you consider that this thing produces 999 horsepower and has a top speed of 306 kilometers per hour. The car has a 60 kilowatt hour battery capable of lasting around 10 laps at record pace on Silverstone's national circuit. This track monster delivers unmatched performance and a quick 20 minute recharge time further ensures minimal downtime between sessions. I don't know what you do if you're in a race with more than um, 10 laps, then yeah, you're probably not going to win the race, but at least it can recharge pretty quickly. Now you might wonder how fast this thing goes from 0 to 60 and they actually don't specify it, but I have seen many of them being tested, with the fastest one achieving 0 to 60 in just 1.4 seconds. That's pretty insane. Surprisingly, even though this car is Tiny, the Spearling Pure offers impressive adjustability to accommodate drivers of varying sizes. The steering wheel and pedals can be customized to fit drivers up to 6 feet 7 or 2 meters tall and weighing up to 150 kilograms or 330 pounds. This ensures that a wide range of enthusiasts can enjoy the exhilarating experience behind the wheel. For millionaire track day enthusiasts, the question of choosing the Spearling Pure over a more traditional track-only supercar arises. With its cutting-edge fan technology, exhilarating acceleration and limited production, the Spearling Pure offers a unique and exclusive track experience. It's a blend of innovation, performance and exclusivity might entice those seeking for the ultimate adrenaline rush on the racetrack. Just a shame it can't do this.
But yeah, let me know down below what you thought of this video and this car. Now this car is really cool, like it, it's fast. Nobody can deny this thing is stupidly quick in the corners and in a straight line. Um, but I do like the sound of an actual engine. Luckily, this thing does make a sound. That fan is pretty loud. Um, I'll, I'll put a clip here so you can hear it. But it's it's still not the same as a proper V8 or a screaming V12 or yeah. But let me know below what you thought of the video and the car. And if you agree with me, and if you liked it, you'll probably like all of the other stuff. So just go through my channel, see if there's something else you like. I'll check you guys in the next one. Cheers, eh? Shun